Hey, what's up, it's Rich, back with another video. Uh, it's been a while, but uh, we're back with something I think is pretty interesting. Um, and the light here over my shoulder is a big clue. So I've got in my hands Intel's brand new Arc A-Series Alchemist uh, graphics cards, the A750 and the A770. Uh, I'm not allowed to talk too much about uh, performance or any of that sort of stuff. There is a full review embargo to come, but what I can show you today is what they look like, and I think these are actually pretty damn good. They're probably the best looking graphics cards I've seen in a long time. Let's take a look. So apologies, it's a little quick and dirty, uh, but I have got two of these, and I've not had them long, so we're literally just uh, getting straight into it. So this is the A770, 16 gigabyte. Um, Intel is offering two uh, two levels of VRAM. There's an eight gigabyte version and a 16 gigabyte version, but Intel's own limited edition, which is what this one is, uh, comes with 16 gigabytes. They're saying that the eight gigabyte models will mostly be done by the uh, by their third parties. They're not currently planning to offer one. So this is a box. It's actually quite a nice looking box. Um, this is technically an engineering sample, um, but as far as I'm aware, it's you know, re as, as as close as it's going to get to a retail unit. Uh, I have already opened it a couple of times. And uh, it's a pretty nice looking thing. So we'll take that out for a second, uh, just to show the couple of other bits you get in here. So with the A770, there's an additional little box. And in this one is... Uh, we get a, a USB RGB controller cable. Um, so Intel's put RGB lighting. Uh, there's four zones on the A770, uh, around the fans, around the edges. Uh, it goes onto the back plate as well, and the logo lights up. And you can control that from your PC, but you need this little thing. Uh, and it's, you know, it's dead straightforward. It's just a little, little tiny connector here that goes into the graphics card. And then the other end just plugs into a USB header on your motherboard. So get that out of the way. Uh, otherwise, the only other thing you get in the box is uh, the all-important Intel Arc Graphics case sticker. We'll get rid of that. And I'm not going to bother with the A750 because it is exactly the same. The box even looks the same, which I will show you. Uh, but you don't have the the cable inside because there's no RGB on this one. So the first thing to notice, they are incredibly similar. They're virtually identical, and the only visual difference, besides the fact that one says A770 on the back and one says A750, is that this one has no RGB. So here around the edge on the, uh, on the back plate, and around the edges of the graphics card, uh, on this one is Chrome. Whereas on the A770, though those areas, plus in behind the fans, uh, which you probably can't see on the video, have RGB. Spec-wise, um, so I'll link a put you know, drop a link in the description to the, the full specs. Um, important things you need to know: eight and six pin connector. It's the same for both. Backplate. We have, oh, that one doesn't want to come out, three display ports, and I believe it's HDMI 2.1. I will need to double check on that, but I believe it's HDMI 2.1. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a really nice, it's a really nice thing. I'm surprised at how it's almost over-engineered. I mean, this thing is, is, is slick. This kind of soft, you know, you know, you never touch your graphics cards, but it's like a soft touch exterior. You know, it looks really smart. The back plate's superb, and you might be able to tell there are no screw holes anywhere on the outside, apart from on the I/O plate here at the end, where it literally just screws it into the graphics card. But it's a completely screwless design. Now, I would really like to take one of these apart, but I don't actually know how to. More to the point, I don't know if I know how to put it back together again. So, uh, at least for now, they'll be staying as they are. So, spec-wise, these two are 
fairly close together and that's the same with uh, the pricing as well. The A750 uh, retail recommended retail price is just 289 US dollars. The A770 is uh, 329 for the 8 gigabyte and this Intel ready Intel special edition 16 gigabyte is 349. So they're really aggressively priced and Intel has made a big thing about this in its press briefings. They they said that the market is basically broken everything's getting too expensive and they want to reset the market is what they said so 4090 killer this is not um i haven't started testing yet and even if i had i wasn't allowed to talk about it officially there is another embargo for that but um intel's targeting this around the rtx 3060 kind of area which is still a pretty damn good graphics card and when you look at steam's uh, most used hardware lists, you'll see that most gamers are still using kind of mid-tier graphics cards. And, you know, this is really aggressively priced, and if it actually performs well, it could be could be really interesting. So that's it for now. Uh, this is literally just uh, a quick, quick unboxing, show you what these things look like. Uh, I have to now go and hook them both up to my PC. Um, I'm hoping to uh, maybe get some Linux mileage out of them as well. Uh, obviously, XESS is launching uh, Intel's answer to FSR and DLSS. Uh, you can try that out right now in Shadow of the Tomb Raider on your existing graphics card. Obviously, these things are built to uh, to really take advantage of things like Deep Link and XESS and, and all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, lots more to come from these, hopefully. Um, I'm quite excited, uh, and I'll be honest, I'm happy that they're here. We need a bit of competition in the market. Um, you know, NVIDIA's going their way, AMD is doing their thing, and Intel is the last big company that could maybe shake up the market. Whether it'll happen or not, we'll have to wait and see. But that's it for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.